Good morning, everyone. My name is Joey Parsons, and I'm the head of operations at Flipboard, where our mission is to build the world's best personal magazine. With over 100 million readers and a quarter of a million being added every day, we use Amazon Web Services to deliver a fast, beautiful experience to you. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Flipboard, we bring a multitude of amazing content in a flippable format to your iOS devices, Android tablets and phones, Windows tablets and web browsers, and do this by curating the best of the web, your favorite RSS feeds and blogs, content from your social network, whether it be beautiful pictures your friends are posting, interesting links they're sharing, unique content they're creating, and other activity within your social graph. We also work with over 200 of the best digital and magazine publishers worldwide to bring the best seamless news and reading experience beautifully and directly to you. Just one year ago, we launched the ability for you to create and share amazing magazines for things that you're passionate about and engage at a whole new level with your friends, readers, and followers. It really enables you, the reader, to become the editor and build immersive experiences within Flipboard. We've had over seven million magazines created in just about every category and topic you can imagine. It's impressive to search our magazines and find exactly what you're looking for, expertly curated by a thought leader or respected person of that world. Now with this kind of scale and growing, we have to make important decisions about our platform every day, and from the beginning, we needed a platform that could scale with us and quickly. We chose Amazon Web Services from day one after evaluating a few other cloud providers. From a cost, performance, tooling, and maturity standpoint, we naturally went with AWS. It also forced us to focus on distributed services and fault-tolerant systems from day one. One of the more important pieces of the AWS infrastructure for us is CloudFront. We make heavy use of static content, especially images, and our proprietary paginated content is served directly out of CloudFront. Whenever there's a new point of presence being brought up around the world, it helps our international reader base have a faster reading experience. Beyond CloudFront, there are two big portions of Flipboard's architecture using EC2 and other AWS services. We have our real-time interactive systems that serve reader and magazine content with real-time integrations of social activity. We also have our data importing platform that ingests new, that ingests new publisher content RSS feeds, and streams of data from your social networks. Now, the scale of both of these architectures is extreme. And with an international reader base and new content being created on the web every minute, we need tried and true systems to be able to meet the rigors of that demand. One key decision we made early on was to use MySQL and in turn RDS. With the auto minor version upgrades, automatic backups, easy restores, and the ability to spin up read replicas to add capacity made it a no-brainer for us to choose what AWS provides. It allowed us to focus a little less on MySQL administration and a little more on scaling out the rest of our services. December 5th was a sad day around the world as Nelson Mandela passed, and our editorial staff quickly created an awesome magazine to commemorate his life. While we knew that there'd be a ton of engagement, we had no idea what to expect next. We went from zero to millions of readers for that magazine in just a matter of minutes. Now the story is simple and one you've heard many times before, but being able to react to a drastic change in demand and add new machines is a stark contrast to the alternative. Having your moment and dis disappointing your readers with poor performance or unavailability. One of the more important lessons we learn in, in regards to using AWS is to control our costs as our reader base grows. We have a constant need to add new machines to our environment to meet the demands of our readers' activity. A few important lessons stand out. We make heavy use of three-year reserved instances to save greatly on costs. If you look at the general benefits, you're essentially getting an instance for three years at the cost of just nine months. This graph shows, on, with the blue lines, our monthly active readership growing since inception. And the white line shows our cost per monthly active user during that same time frame. So while we've been able to increase our monthly active readership month over month, we've been able to considerably drop the cost per monthly active user from 20 cents to less than one. Another way we've been able to save and perform better over time is through the frequent slashing of, of AWS pricing 
and whenever new instances get added into the fold. Whenever there's a price change, we evaluate the impact this has on our service and the assumptions that we made before. Maybe we used a medium when it might make more sense to use a large now of a different class type and perform even better. Whenever there's a new instance type, we'll take a service role of a similar instance type and deploy that new instance and see how it performs with a portion of our production traffic. If it holds up, is fast, and the pricing makes sense, we'll switch over an entire fleet of our service immediately and reap the benefits. The recently added C3 and M3 instances have done exactly that. We've been able to replace the, a significant amount of our C1s and M1s with fewer C3s and M3s simply because of the bang for your buck on processing power and the fact that they're backed by SSDs helps a ton too. We're also very excited about I2 instances and how we may be able to replace some of our age-based clusters that currently use high one 4X larges and perform even better. Now, we're not only efficient from an operational expenditure position, but also on team and staff. If you looked at our Amazon footprint and equated that to a traditional data center experience, we'd have a huge operations team at Footboard. From network engineers managing the network, data center staff constantly racking new machines, dealing with provider and procurement relationships, we'd easily have a team of 15. We've been able to scale to over 100 million readers with just a full-time staff of three. We're incredibly happy with what we've been able to accomplish with AWS thus far. And looking into the future, we're loving some of the new products that have been released recently, like Kinesis and the impact that can have on our real-time stream processing. And we'll continue to evaluate and test DynamoDB for our interactive services as it continues to mature and grow. One recent announcement we're really excited about is we're incredibly stoked to see AWS expanding into China. China is a strategic region for us internationally as we already have a large reader base there and variants of our applications servicing them. Having the ability to serve content directly out of China and build out infrastructure there helps us tap into one of the biggest markets of readership around the globe, and we're excited for AWS to help us deliver. Most importantly, we continue to look forward to new instance types that help meet the needs of our demanding workloads and the constant incremental improvements that are being done to AWS that help continue the story of Flipboard readers having a fast, beautiful, and always available experience. Thank you.